Hello everyone. We are conducting a presentation on case study of cyber attack and cyber crimes. Let's start with the introduction part. I am Franjali and in our team we are having Prachi, Ishani and Shikha. The topic which we have chosen for the case study is US electric grid power attack. We will discuss when it took place, techniques used and what preventive measures we can take in future. So what is cyber crime? Cyber crime can be defined as a crime or activity where a computer, computer network or a device which is connected with network is either targeted or used. Cyber crimes falls into three major categories, individual, property and government. Some example of criminal activities or cyber crimes are phishing, cyber stalking and identity theft. The main objective of cyber criminal or a hacker is to assess users personal information or business information. But in this contemporary world, cyber attacks are not just confined to stealing of personal information or data, but they are targeting critical infrastructure of the country, thus becoming the latest weapons of mass destruction. By critical infrastructure, we mean the body of systems like refineries, chemical plants, transports, telecommunication, which forms the backbone of our society. Through cyber attacks, cyber warfare is becoming the new weapon of cho choice. Cyber warfare is the use of computer technology to disrupt the activities of a state or organization. So the attack which took place on US electricity grid was a phishing attack or more precisely the technique which was used to conduct this attack was spear phishing. So now let's understand what is a phishing attack and what is a spear phishing attack. Phishing attack can be set off as a type of social engineering attack which is used to steal user data, login credentials, credit card numbers, etc. It generally occurs when an attacker masquerades as a trusted entity and dupes a victim into opening of an email or a message. The recipient of the email of the message is then tricked into, killing, into clicking a malicious link which can lead to the installation of malware in the system of the recipient. There are many types of phishing like email phishing, spear phishing, smishing, wishing, etc. It is generally thought of that phishing can only be conducted through emails. But the phishing the attack, phishing attack can be conducted either through message, which is known as smishing, and it can also be conducted through voice messages or voice calls, and then it is known as wishing. So now what is a spear phishing attack? Spear phishing targets a specific person or enterprise. In phishing attack, a random user or a group of random users would the target of the attacker. But in spear phishing, some specific person or some company or an organization is the target. But before conducting or a hacker has to collect a lot of information about his target. So that makes spear phishing attack more complex than normal phishing attack. In spear phishing, the attacker has to collect information of his victim like the name of the company in which he works, his email address, job title, etc. So it can be set off as a more in-depth version of phishing attack. Now the question arises, why power grids are chosen? 
as we have discussed that critical infrastructure is becoming the target of hackers power grids is also a part of critical infrastructure for any country by attacking power grids it, it can be said of as attack on infrastructure economic health of the country and also the national security of the country that's why power grids are becoming the attacker's choice attack on power grids have the potential to shift the country as we all know that the attack was conducted on the us power grids so the question is that were the power grids or were the system through which they were operating power grids not much secure that gave the opportunity to the hackers to hack their system so the systems of the system operator of the company were very much secure systems were having robust firewall but still there might be some vulnerability which gave the hackers opportunity to hack the system hello everyone this is sikha kumari now today i am here to explain the topic ukraine attack was the first phishing attack used to attack on a country first known successful cyber attack on a power grid on 23 december 2015 hacker were able to successfully compromise information systems of three energy distribution companies in ukraine and temporarily distribute the electricity supply to consumers it is considered to be first known successful cyber attack on a power grid now we will discuss about us electricity grid phishing attacks first we will discuss about the introduction that when and where this attack took place after that we will discuss about the medium and the way through which attack took place and after that we will discuss about the country who was blamed for the attack and then we will discuss about the scenario and lessons learned from this attack and at the end we will discuss about the prevent and precautions that we can take to protect the system from these types of attack now i would like to hand over the next slide my teammate prachi patwal thank you so much oh. Hello everyone. This is Prashi Parivar. As my team said, I explain about the what is a cyber crime, what is a phishing attack, what is spear phishing, and all about the Ukrainian attack. As the same thing happened in the US on the 5th of March 2019, five were arrested, communication lost, and the realization that this was not a technology failure of the US power grid. It appears to be a first of its cyber attack that reveals the risk of our intimately connected infrastructure. Now I will explain how the cyber attack took place. Operators at the power control center start losing communication with the multiple remote hosts in the site for a minute at a time. Operators determine the problem for some reason: internet facing firewall, were rebooting and going offline. Each reboot server communication for no more than five minutes between the control and the general site. How is this? Kept happening, and the power grid cyber attack continued for nearly 10 hours. And the uh, interrupted electrical system operator in the Scan country, California, and the uh, and the point. Hackers access to the power plant computers and internet networks. First, the attack is on a less secure company like one that is a part of generator. or cell software that power plant company use hackers uh, hackers observe the pattern of the employees and attack on them so the basically attack took place in two ways first is a spear session second is a water hole so the hackers first to send email from a uh, from a compromised account that the receiver trusted and had interacted with the host to get the person receiving the email to reveal the confidential information the hacker alternate website that people in the energy industry regularly visit so that those outside could collect information like login password and relay them back to the hacker we all know that uh, that was not a one day of activity that was all about the six month of master plan hackers just observe the pattern of employees 
I'm just beautiful. Now, this is the flow chart. Explain how this all happens. First, we see the hackers, then employed computer, then the sketch server, and the electrical equipment. Russian hackers used malicious emails to steal credentials from utility com company employed. Using the stolen credentials, hackers remotely access and run the mal mal malicious code and the power utility workstation. Hacker can gain access to the utility scat. Now, scat controls the uh, utility assets, including substation and power generation facility. So, what is a scat server? Scat is a super supervision control and data acquisition system. Scat system is a collection of both software and hardware components that allow supervision and control of a plant both locally and remotely. The script also examines, collects, and processes the data in real time. Also, within the script software is the ability to log data for historical purpose. Hacker can have anything. They are so powerful that they can bring down an economy of any country or can start the war by just one play. And this grid, this power grid was the biggest trend on the electricity. Now, I would like to hand over this presentation to Shani Verma. Hello, I am Ishani Verma. As my teammate Prachi explained you all about the way attack took place, let's see who was blamed for this attack. The US government blamed Russia's government publicly for this attack and said that Russian hackers gained access to the computer, they targeted industries and collected sensitive data like password, login, log, login information, etc. from the energy generation. Let's see what expert says about this cyber attack. According to experts, the team of hackers were well trained and team of hackers were well funded too. The hackers kept their eye on power companies for since last month before the attack took place. Now let's see the lessons that we learned from this US power grid attack. So we should always follow the good industrial practices for vulnerabilities and patch management. We should always use as few as internet facing devices as possible. Use access control list to filter in bonded traffic prior to, hand, to handling by the firewalls. Employ a redundant solution to provide resilience and online maintenance capabilities. Now let's see what precautions we can take to protect our system from such type of attack. So we should always use two-factor authentication or we should always use a firewall mechanism in, in our system. We should always use a licensed version of antivirus software in our system. We should always use a powerful password for any sensitive or important data which are very sensitive or important. Uh, we, should, uh, we should always use a power encryption mechanism for the sensitive and important data. We should never download any attachment without your verification, without any, uh, like the emails come from unknown mails or the mails that were not verified and we don't know about, about the who, is, who has sent these mails. So we should not download any of such attachments to protect our system from such type of attacks. So if now anyone is having any query, can ask. So, as there is no query, so I would like to end this presentation on behalf of my team. So, I would thank, I would also uh, thank you all of you for your cooperation and uh, listening to us. So, thank you.